At that same tournament, uh, a week and a half later, on March 7th, 1903, we have the same opening against Adolf Albin. E4, E5, D4. Does this look familiar? The same opening. Now, only Albin used Copenhagen defense. Copenhagen, um, speaking of Danish, speaking of Danish, Copenhagen is way over in Denmark, way over, well, I'm, I'm pointing this way, but to you it would be that way. If you have Denmark, it's way over here on the coast between Denmark and Sweden. But anyway, this is known as Copenhagen defense. So check, he plays uh, check, king to f1. And bishop back to f8. Somebody explain to me the logic of moving back to putting your king your bishop back to bed could somebody smell me <sighs> no don't smell me tell me well isn't there a better way to deal with this attack I mean how about just blocking I, I don't comprehend putting pieces back to bed Okay, so you block, he said, and Midnight Rhino says, no, because then e5. But here's the move to play here. You play d5, and when he takes and you take, um, well, you can't, yeah, you take, he has to, he would have to trade queens. He can't take here because he's checkmated. <laughs> so he'd have to trade queens. Okay, this yeah, this doesn't look too great for black, but I mean, I'm, I think he's holding. I think he's holding. This is a miserable place for this rook to have to be. All right. So anyway, Midnight Rhino says, um, oh, Midnight Rhino says, go Queen A4 check instead. Queen a4 check can't be the right move. But in the Midnight Rhino suggested line, you have something like this. Midnight Rhino says, keep the queens on the board. Anyway, coming back, uh, it doesn't, I don't understand Bishop f8. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Uh, again, for you beginners, Leave these crazy openings uh, to the masters. You guys play solid uh, Italian games and Four Nights games and, you know, games where you're getting your pieces out of bed. All right, so Bishop F8, confusing. Knight C3, and here's the point to the Danish gambit. Again, as I mentioned before, white has excuse me, this enormous lead in development. All four of White's miners already out of bed. Knight d5, pawn to d6, h3. Knight to a5. Bishop d3 is the best choice. C6. Knight f4. What's the purpose of f6? He just wants to obstruct this diagonal. 
He's going to relocate his knight here, and he's obstructing the diagonal against this. Knight d4, knight f7, bishop c3. This move is not really needed. You're defending your knight already. So it'd probably be better to try to get your pieces in better places. Maybe something like so. He'd have to, he, he wouldn't want to give up this nice bishop. I don't know. Okay, anyway, he defends with the pawn, and that's traded off. Yeah, this is really starting to look good for... Double knight e6, and the knight hangs. What happened? Okay, so we come here. He says play knight to e6 here. Midnight Rhino, you're saying move one of these knights to e6 right here? Does it matter which one? Which one should he move first? Is it relevant? I don't think this works, though. I don't think this works because after bishop takes and knight takes, the knight's not really hanging because you're... Your own knight is there and can be captured. Okay, okay, knight takes f8. And then... But the knight is trapped. The knight is trapped. So you can actually save your knight. You can actually save your knight because this knight is trapped. You don't have to take it right away. When a piece is trapped and you have a piece under attack, you don't have to take this right away. You can, you can get your own piece to seven, to safety. And, you know, this is, this is certainly much better, um, much more playable for black. <clears throat> okay. So Midnight Rhino does not want to let go of this. He says queen to b3. And super attacking this knight. Now, queen to b3. I guess I can't just take this, because then he's got that. But what about defense? Defending. I can defend that. Well, queen to b... Queen takes b7 would be an excellent move if you want to lose your queen. <laughs> queen to b7 is an excellent move if you want to lose your queen. Yeah, I, I think black is okay here. Anyway, coming back, 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 back. Midnight Rhino's never going to let that go, so we'll just move on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, there's a lot going on here. What's wrong with queen h5? He says, what's wrong with queen h5 here? So when you play queen h5, you're inviting black into the game, you know. You're giving him places to go with his bishop, where it was closed off before. And if you're thinking about a move like this, not so fast with this knight here. Because we're so used to being able to play this move, but normally there's not a knight on f7. And so that's a pretty common mistake. You're not used to seeing this knight on f7. So you think that you have the usual um, pinned pawn, but you don't with that knight there. It's a psychological uh, mistake, because when is this knight ever on f7? So your mind tells you, it's, you've seen this pattern before and, and, and your mind recognizes the pattern and has a mental block against this knight. All right, anyway, bishop takes, pawn takes. 
Knight takes, now this is really, he's just chewing up Black. Black's still sitting with all these pieces in bed. Queen b6. Rook c1. Bishop a6. You know, that knight was defending the bishop. Another choice here. I think this is a good move by the knight because it attacks the queen. But another choice here is to set up this discovery. Because your knight defends this. Uh, anyway, knight d5 is a good move because it does hit the queen. And it gets your knight in a much better place. Now he just hit the queen again. You can actually uh, take the bishop as well. There's no, there's so many, there are so many ways for white to win here that, you know, take your pick. It's like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which, which way do I pick? Um, he said, I'm gonna keep hassling you. Bishop takes with check, capture. Queen b2, rook hits the queen, knight counter strikes, white's queen. After queen d1, the question returns to black's queen, queen a3. Forkosaurus rex here, and he doesn't take the rook. <laughs> Again, there are so many ways to win. You're bound to like one of them. This is funny. This is a funny move. He invites black to take his knight. Knight's undefended, right? Well, what happens if he takes it? Bada bing, bada boom. You are doomed. You're still gonna get this rook. You're driving the king back. Everything's with tempo. So, boom. Oh. Ah, this is almost over. Knight to c6. And then this is where he resigned because it's checkmate on the next move. If he blocks the check, checkmate here. And if he runs away from the check, checkmate there.